So here we are with the DGI Pocket 2. It is, I'm not sure what day it is actually, I think it's the 4th or 5th of January. And it's getting on towards 4 o'clock in the afternoon here in the UK. Temperature is uh, about freezing, or thereabouts. And currently we've got all four microphones on, so you should be hearing me and all the surrounding noises of our local park. Now this is called Page Park and is situated pretty much slap bang in the middle of BS 16.5 and has been around for many many years and actually the bit we're walking past now I just spin round at some point I believe was a pond I'm pretty sure that was a pond at some point but they changed lots of things around here and they've added some things, there's some playground equipment at the top and if we take a left here past what is the old bandstand and the old clock tower which we'll take a closer look at in a bit when we get around there got a few new additions or newish additions certainly a lot newer than I remember when I was uh, a youngster in this area so got this pit of park some slides actually just a pretty cool looking and over the other side there's some other activity stuff big swing these old trees with now basically nothing of them it does look a very different place than what it does in the summer in the summer it looks really really beautiful but in the winter it looks pretty grim I guess that's pretty much the same rule right now we look up there's actually a bird's nest in the tree So it's a bird house, I've been reliably informed. And let's see if the DJI can zoom in a bit. I oh, know I'm in FPB alternate mode, so I can't really zoom in that. But I'll zoom in and actually see what it's like, a bit of pixel peeking, in, which is what it turns out like. Anyway, that's enough of that. And let's recenter. Two taps on the pocket recenters and here is a, a monument the drinking fountain and you can probably read that saying that it was restored in 2018 by South Gloucestershire Council and the Friends of Page Park this brings back some uh, some memories years ago of uh, coming up to the park and trying to drink from this fountain and it still actually even works. How about that? Used to be just a, a push button, I think, on a basically a piece of metal coming out of the ground. So this is a much improved. Quite a nice improvement. So if we look over to the far side now, that is the uh, exit onto, I think it's Mangusfield Road. Uh, Broad Street, sorry. And for those of you that are interested and you need the uh, facilities, there is the bog house. <laughs> so we'll go past this way. This is uh, what was effectively the sensory garden. So for those with uh, various disabilities, it's nice to go in there and basically just sit down and listen to the birds up in the cage, uh, smell all the different types of flowers and that kind of thing. Uh, this is a relatively new development in the last probably three to five years. Calf's saying ten. <laughs> My knowledge isn't great. I don't get out much. As some of you who are aware of the channel would know. So there we go. We're in the sensory garden. Another plaque. <laughs> Sorry, I got calf again. No, you're not. You're taking it Over there is the uh, the birdhouse. Actually, that'd be really good for filming. Get some uh, really good audio, hopefully.
can hear them, I can't see them. No, there they are, at the top. It's almost impossible to see the birds in this cage. Because <laughs> to certainly hear them. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, actually in the distance you can just like see uh, what used to be the Staple Hill Police Station. You can see there's some police cars there. It's not really an official police station now, but it is still used by the, uh, the services for something or other. I'm not too sure what, but anyway. Uh, over the top of this fence, you might be able to see the bowling centre, which I've always wanted to go to. Never been there. So also in this sensory section, there is also the cafe as well, as you can see on the far side. Uh, should we walk around that way? So we'll walk around so you guys can see. Uh, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad on this. I haven't got any uh, muffs or noise protection equipment as such. <laughs> well, the cafe is a little bit muffled, i.e. silent. So this is the uh, the cafe. Good old social distancing. And there's a, a serving hatch on the other side where you can go and get yourself a coffee, recycle your stuff, all that kind of usual stuff. And there we got the serving hatch. And you can get a pretty good uh, view of the park. It's a pretty big park. Just scan along the horizon there. <laughs> Cat's walking away from the camera. This is hilarious. Let's go have a look at the clock tower. So there is the uh, clock tower you can just about see up in the foreground. Uh, built originally in 1910 and is uh, ever since probably about 1974 kept me awake at night with the sound of the chimes. Uh, a bit too far away from the, uh, the time of the chimes to actually hear it but it does actually sound pretty nice and it's been revent, re, revented, re revitalized over the years. Although years ago it did used to be a multi-purpose place, so you could have ice cream and you could sit down. Uh, there's all sorts. Crazy golf even. You could hire. It's uh, quite a historic part of uh, Page Park. And the clock tower itself is pretty good. Actually, this is a good test to see what the dynamic range is like on this camera. Uh, so it's uh, quite late in the afternoon, it's a bit of overcast, a little bit of blue sky, but see what it's like. So I think that is uh, going to be pretty much it for this area of the park. There's another notice port there. Uh, there is a play park a little bit further down uh, which you can see and also there's a trail as well so there's a page park trail where you can do the routes etc. Actually, that gives you a good layout of what is actually here. So you've got tennis courts, you've got the children's play area. Uh, there's various areas. You've got South View, North View, Broad Street. Hill House Road is the adjoining road. It's a, it's a pretty nice park. It's been here for a long time. Years ago, the uh, the actual fence around the outside edge was actually all removed in the wartime. They wanted the metal to make uh, bullets or bullet casings. So they actually uh, took away all of the the outside edges all of the railings and they were taken to a local factory for processing. So we're back now, We've gone past the kiddies area, I don't really want to film there because I, I don't know about uh, where you guys are but in the UK people do get a little bit pissed off with you uh, filming and that sort of thing so try not to do that. And just taking a walk back now. Loads of people out today actually, surprisingly, so pretty cold out today, pretty chilly, I think it's about three or four degrees with the wind chill. You're feeling around about zero degrees, maybe a little bit less. But, yeah, quite a nice crisp day to go out for a little bit of a walk. I don't know, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed seeing the uh, 
the local park <laughs> even though it looks pretty desolate at the moment with uh, the ravages of the winter weather taking hold around all the plants again hopefully the uh, the microphone's not been too badly affected there is a pretty decent breeze actually today which adds to that windshield factor unfortunately but yeah so quite nice out nice to go and actually get some fresh air I've already been stuck inside on a computer and uh, I'll have to listen back to all this footage and then see what actually the sound comes out like. Hopefully the sound is uh, coming through pretty clearly. And you probably notice I'm turning the camera away when people come towards. It's a little bit of an occupational hazard. If you're trying to film things when you're out and about, yeah, people don't always uh, appreciate it. Depends where you are, I guess. We're in a relatively uh, conservative type area here. So people are a little bit uh, keen to keep their privacy and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully, as this uh, this carries on and the sun starts shining, maybe people open up a bit, and maybe we can even start interviewing people in the park in the local areas we visit. So anyway, we're coming up to the end. Uh, this is the exit towards Clarence Avenue, and I think that is going to pretty much wrap this one up. So that is the uh, the way up to Staple Hill, up to the crossroads towards T Well Avenue and the T Well area. We spin round. This is the way back down to Down End. Um, this is, I think, this is Scytheview. I'm not sure. It says there. There's a sign. Oh, it says Scytheview. Yeah, Scytheview is this one to our right. So that takes you down towards Mangotsfield, uh, the Birdie Grove area, that kind of thing. So yeah, you can get to pretty much most areas from here. So straight down there. This towards Down End, which is Park Road or Park View. This one's Scythe View. That's, uh, <laughs> I've definitely got that one right because it says it there. And then you've got the main road going straight up to Staple Hill. And then this one going back to the kind of central Staple shopping behind and basically comes out towards North Street. So hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, little introduction to our local park and the local areas. If you want to see more content on this don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us your comments in the comments section below and if you're a local of the area let us know say hello and also tell us what your thoughts and memories are of page park and all the surrounding areas really interested to hear them oh and someone's left their uh left a little bit of lunch there hmm, really nice nice way to st start off the year eating outdoors al fresco Anyway, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews Now 2, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.